Phoebe was a highly regarded companion and supporter of St. Paul. Phoebe was a member of the Church of Syncria, a port city of Corinth. It seems likely that St. Paul founded that community and that Phoebe was one of the first to hear him proclaim the good news there. Paul refers to Phoebe as a benefactor. She likely used her influence among the people of Syncria to open a few doors for Paul when he first arrived. Undoubtedly, she also provided Paul with financial support to allow him to carry on his work. Before long, Paul entrusted the church to local leaders so that he could continue his travels around the Mediterranean. Phoebe was one of those leaders. In fact, she was a deacon in the community when Paul returned to Syncria some time later. It was at Syncria that St. Paul composed his famous letter to the Romans. Paul had never been to Rome, but wanted to offer some instruction to the Christian community there. He wrote the letter in anticipation of the visit he planned to make a few months later. Paul needed an ambassador to Rome, someone who would not only deliver his letter, but also make a good impression and win a favorable hearing among the leaders of the church there. He needed someone with good standing in the Syncria community, who had the resources and the wherewithal to make the long journey. Paul chose Phoebe as his representative and entrusted her with the letter. In his letter to the Romans, Paul writes, I commend to you Phoebe, our sister, who is a minister of the church at Syncria, that you may receive her in the Lord in a manner worthy of the Holy Ones and help her in any way she may need. The story of Phoebe provides a window into the early church. Faith communities sprung up throughout the Mediterranean. These communities were founded and inspired by charismatic preachers like Paul, and then supported and maintained by local leaders like Phoebe. We are grateful for all the leaders of the early church, who provided the generations to follow with a great legacy.